what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump's alleged extramarital affairs has been dominating the news cycle. And there's one common thread in both cases. The now your president reportedly told both women that he was having sex with. They reminded him of his daughter. Yeah. Now, we all know that this dude is creepy. He looks creepy. He talks creepy. He behaves creepy. He eats creepy. He probably smells creepy. A normal guy would say, I'm not going to date her because she reminds me of my daughter. Mm -mm, I can't do it. But not Donald Trump. And we know why. Watch his motions. Check out how he behaves when he's around Ivanka. That relationship is an unusual one. For the most loving father, the dearest daughter, something, something just ain't right. Keith Sweat said it best. This guy, Donald Trump, is something, he's a sexual deviant, right? Now, we all have sex. I mean, that's how we got here. Sex is in and of itself is not something that you should be shamed of, but there should be certain rules and certain levels to it, and there are certain boundaries. And this dude don't have any. The things that he do, the things that he say about his daughter, man, something ain't right. And I'm wondering, is there any video? We know something ain't right. But you know what? I realized that this actually panders to his base because a whole lot of them, they into that type of stuff. Marrying cousins, sisters, brothers, mamas, having sex with their daddies. And I'm talking about the males. <laughs> yeah. Look at pictures on the internet of Donald Trump and Ivanka. Ever since she was four, he's been in love with her. Yeah. He is a little too close. The way he touches her, the way he kisses her, the way he compliments her. He does this more frequently and passionately than he does it to his own wife. I wonder what Melania thinks of all of this. Maybe that's why she's so detached. I can tell when a woman is not being loved properly. And Melania is not being loved properly. At least not by Donald Trump. She hates him. She wants a divorce, but she can't get a divorce to a sitting president. She can't do that. She has to wait. I suspect that she may never get a divorce since she since he's become president because nobody divorces the president after he becomes president. So I suspect that she'll probably just ride this thing out. Trump probably got about another maybe three, four years before he fall all the way off the map with his dementia. You know, he off. He, he gone. He losing it. Like, well, he, he lost it, actually, but... He's reaching that point to where he can no longer even fake it at all. And I suspect that Ivanka is waiting on that moment when she can get out of that White House and she can move around more frequently and leave Donald Trump sitting in a wheelchair in the living room like that play. What was the name of that play? I can't think of the name of that play. If y'all remember the name of that play where the woman, she had an abusive husband I think the husband was some type of professional. He owned a business or something. And 
the he treated the wife really, really bad. And then he got into some type type of accident and he ended up in a wheelchair. Totally dependent on the wife that he treated so badly. And she started just doing him real bad. She she left him in the house one day, I think for a day or two. And he took a dump on himself. He was just sitting in his own mess. She did him bad, but still not as bad as he did her. I suspect that Ivanka would do something along those lines. Not Ivanka, but you know, I, I get them mixed up. You know, it's like, you know, she does kind of act like the wife, but I get them mixed up. But Melania, I suspect if she stays, she'll probably end up being that wife. And I know for a fact, I don't have to be in the room. I know for a fact, somebody not going to back out and it ain't Trump. She getting it. Believe that. So, Ivanka, you know, the, gig, the, the jig is up, man. We, we know what's going on. We know it's something going on. Ivanka is a nice looking woman. But she don't need her daddy looking at her that nice. We know something ain't right, man. So Ivanka, we won't hold it against you. If at any time you want to tell your side of the story, you have an open door to come on Willie D Live and speak on it. I'm sure my subscribers would love that conversation. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.